All right, next up for protection, we've got these swing arm guards. And actually, I bought these swing arm guards in 2017 when I bought my 2017 KTM. And I never put them on. And I really regret that. Let's take a look. So after a year of riding, this is the damage. And just look at, look at all of these crazy nicks, all this beating. When I see people run those swing arm guards, I always saw them break the zip ties off. So I was like, yeah, I'm not even going to bother, you know, how bad could it be? But it gets pretty bad. So this is going to be hard cleanup for when I sell it. I don't want this looking like crap for someone, you know, I want it to look fresh. So i got to figure out a way to clean that up. As for the kind of zip tie falling off thing, I've got a couple options. This is what it comes with, these long zip ties, standard, nothing special, no metal clip or anything. And then I've got some these stainless zip ties that I've tried. For uh, I've tried these for some various projects, um, holding pipe guards and such. So there's this kind with the holes, sort of like a hose clamp. And there's this kind without the holes. And without the holes, these are junk. I got a bunch of them, and I don't need them. If you guys need them for something, let me know. And uh, you can have them. These ones, the holes are pretty good. But I was also considering trying just a big hose clamp and just hose clamping it on. So I think I might try this version with the holes, the zip tied version, and we'll see how it goes. But on this side, I don't think I need to even take anything off. They just clip in. Um, I don't know who makes. I don't know who makes these. It's kind of unlisted. Schwangshin, Schwangshin squats. I guess it's a KTM part made in Austria. I guess it's KTM. But yeah, they just takes a couple zip tie spots right here and here. They snap on, which is nice. So we'll see how these babies work. Let's see here. Actually, I want to start both of them first. I'm going to thread these in before I zip them up. And this side is a little tricky. I don't know how that's going to work. So I was able to thread the zip tie underneath this. On this one. This one's seated. I removed this flap and I'm kind of just pulling on the zip tie and pushing against the little buckle. And I think that's pretty tight. All right, so when you get the stainless zip tie tight, I like to fold these things down. Just, I think it just locks it in. And then <clears throat> to cut this off, uh, any standard nipper is gonna be really difficult. So I use these, my mini like bolt cutters. And these things, how they're hinged, they just they just cut really well. And I leave a little bit of a tail so that I could fold it over on itself. As you see, that's super easy. If you look at like this pair, I probably won't even be won't even be able to cut it. I'm gonna try out the hose clamp idea. It's a little bit big. So I'm going to try heating this up and just press it through. That gets hot quick. Oh yeah, see that just melts right away. So now... So I want this to be facing out, the bolt. So I'll just go through here.
I'm just kind of bending it so it's kind of ready to go. Yeah, I think that should work pretty good actually. I don't know if the chain will, it's gonna hit that. Hmm. I'm not sure if the chain will hit it more there versus here. Hmm. I'd rather this be more this way. And then for this back one, I'm just gonna use the zip tie. It's kind of hard to get into. We'll see if it breaks or not. Ugh. Whoa, wear safety glasses. So this thing's a little bit dangerous there. All right, so we're gonna switch out these frame protectors to keep these for the stock ones. I kind of like the look of the orange, kind of makes it look like an orange frame. I keep missing the years that these XCs come with orange. It's like every other year they switch it up to the XCWs. Um, <clears throat> but it's interesting they added this kind of wing thing that clips in on the 19s, as you can see here. A little bit different I don't know kind of unnecessary I guess maybe it fixes this issue that I was having because this piece is so big that it cracks and as you can see it's all zip tied <clears throat> but when you have it attached to this maybe I don't know maybe it's stronger so the install on this is a subframe bolt and this really tiny six. Don't forget the washer. And then these two zip ties there and there. Pretty simple. All right guys, thanks for checking out the build series. I'm looking forward to seeing how uh, these, these alternative to the zip ties work out. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys have tried anything similar or tried anything better that I might be able to try. Because I know these, these things fall off all the time on our rides, so I'm trying to avoid that. Uh, check us out on uh, Instagram, at trailboundco. You can see our shop at shop.trailbound.co. And uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the little bell to get, so you get notifications whenever the next videos come out. Thanks guys, we'll see you on the trail.